Hey, Red Bull. Hey, Ferdinand. We are so happy with the way the bathrooms are turning out so far. I can't even imagine once they're actually done and we have all the tile and the showers completed and you know, the sinks up and running. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. But so far we really like it. And it's just so funny how something so little and simple like a mirror can totally transform a place. Like in the master, now there's even more light in there. And then in the kids' bathroom, just the second you walk inside the front door, you can see that mirror and it just, it gives the whole place a different feel. It feels so much more homey with everything that we've been doing. And I'm very happy to just start seeing all the boxes in there get cleared out because it was really starting to get jam packed and it's just not fun having all that in there when we are also living in here. So happy that that's getting done. And today what Spencer is doing is he's just continuing on the floors, working his way into the kids' rooms. I think he's like halfway done with Bo's room right now. And hopefully he'll be able to get them both done today because it should be pretty easy for him to do. He's moving pretty quickly, but there is still some furniture that he has to move around, like all the kitchen cabinet faces, all that still, so fingers crossed. <laughs> So do you think you're gonna be able to get both the kids' rooms done today? Uh, if history serves as, <laughs> serves as any marker of uh, how fast we get things done now. Okay, well that is not very optimistic. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like we could, but there's just a lot of crap that we gotta move around. And yeah. Also manage two kids and try to help in the process, so. Well, I think you can do it. No, I know you can do it. So chop chop, pork chop. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put the camera out in the woods, okay? Okay. Okay. can catch something on the camera. I've been hearing a lot of coyotes lately, so that would be really cool to see some of those. I guess we'll see. I'm walking uphill, that's why I'm out of breath. This is quite possibly the biggest step in our build <laughs> is our appliances the things that actually make a house feel like a house and function as a house uh, air conditioning and then appliances <laughs> oh and a toilet i guess <laughs> finally good thing your center section goes up so high <laughs> Oh my gosh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. 
it makes it look so different in here. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, what is that? I'm really going to blow your mind, Bo. Watch this. What? <laughs> so what do you think? It still doesn't feel real. Like this whole, <laughs> I know we say that a lot, but it just looks so good in here. Like I, this, this is turning out way better than I ever anticipated. I know, when we first started building this house, I never would have expected it to end up looking this good. Yeah, I knew I could make things look halfway decent, whoa, whoa, whoa. but it's just like I never anticipated the house to be come out this good, you know? Mm -hmm. Better than I imagined. Yeah, we had low expectations, apparently. <laughs> Well, we've never built anything before. Right. Of course, we wouldn't know. Now I can't wait till we can actually use it. Gonna have a little while. A couple weeks. A couple weeks? I mean, we gotta get countertops. Who knows how long that's gonna take. And then also have to wire the range differently. And then I have to, until like we have cooking <laughs> devices hooked up and a countertop. Right. Doesn't make sense to put I know. all the fridge in there. There's just so many moving parts, so <laughs> there's still some stuff that we have to do before we're actually able to cook in here. Obviously, we need to finish the kitchen, and we don't want to like plug this fridge in and start using it because I'm having to do all the cooking over in the barn. So I need the fridge in there, and we can't be doing two fridges. <laughs> so yeah. that's why. Yeah, there's that, and then we also have to finish all the solar stuff in order to power the, all of this. Right, right. But we're getting close. I cannot imagine that first meal I get to cook in here. Just the thought of like, it's the middle of the night and I want to get a nice cold glass of water and I can go right here to the fridge mm -hmm. and I don't have to go over to the barn. That sounds amazing. I know. <laughs> you don't have to go outside to get water. <laughs> it's the little things. <laughs> So we still have all the trim and the baseboards and everything to complete, but I am happy to say that the floors in our home are done. And you know something that's funny? I thought as I was seeing the shipping container floors being covered that I would kind of be sad just because, you know, we had wanted to keep them exposed, but seeing our new flooring down and just how good it looks i could not be happier with it and i just i think we definitely made the right call with just covering them all up and it just looks so much better than i could have ever imagined what do you think cam do you like the new floors you know he's never gonna know the struggle of learning how to crawl on osb Bear crawl. Yeah, poor Bo did a bear crawl for a really long time. Well, the dogs were just barking under the house. Turns out there's a snake. He's much smaller than the rest of them. Uh, uh, bear. Come bear, come here, bud. 
Oh yeah, that one's really small. Good boy. Right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna be working on is this bathroom vanity. It's not currently installed. It's just kind of pushed up it against the wall. Uh, so install that. We did get our new faucets in. Center set, not wide set. Learned that the hard way. So I'll work on getting all that and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have running water and that will be able to drain out of the house. Running water is just something that we haven't had with the exception of the washer that actually uses water in the house. But other than that, we haven't had ru running water in the house that we can use personally. So this is gonna be very nice. All right, so first things first, pull this out and then shut off the water outside so I can drain the lines, the feed lines, and uh, put a disconnect on here so I can then have a spot to uh, run my feed lines to my uh, faucet. <laughs> you don't need to wash your hands yet. I'm gonna try. All right, so I think I'm ready to uh, finally push this vanity up in place and install it. All my supply lines are there and my drain is done. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. Oh my god. What? The f shelf is in the way of the P-trap. That's not good. <sighs> All right, well, got the vanity in place and um, thought I was gonna have this all up and running within the next 20 minutes. Well, that's not gonna be the case. So this P-trap right here is hitting the shelf and this shelf is kind of cam locked into place. And two, I don't want to, I don't want to lose the shelf. But what I'm going to have to do is put the sink in place and um, figure out roughly where the P-trap needs to be for the drain of the sink, and trace the P-trap on that shelf and just cut it out. Not what I want to do with a brand new vanity shelf, but looks like I don't really have any other option. Okay, so I have my uh, rough outline of where I need to cut, something like that. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a new day. Ran into some issues last night with this sink. First issue was the hole that I had cut in the shelf. Once I had pulled the shelf or mounted the shelf to the wall, that pulled it a little bit more tight to the wall and it just, uh, it threw my hole off just a little bit. So now I have to re-notch the hole and I couldn't do that last night because the kids were sleeping. And then two, the metal drain pipe from the uh, the sink didn't reach my P-trap. So I had to go to the store and get an extension for it. So 
as you can tell, I was pretty frustrated last night with that because I thought I was gonna have this all up and running within the within 20 minutes. And then one thing after another. So hopefully I can get this up and running today. I should be able to, but. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to point out. This hole, it is so close to this wall, I have no good tools for cutting something that close. The jigsaw hits this wall so I can't get close enough to notch it back. I actually have to notch it back to like right there. So what I'm thinking about doing is just using the uh, reciprocating saw and that's the only thing I can get to kind of get back in here. And I mean, it's probably gonna not look very pretty. I mean, it doesn't look pretty as is, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Are we good? so <laughs> I don't know. gonna have to leak test it but first we gotta put the oh crap oh my god the water lines are behind this drawer I gotta try to fish them through over the this wall all right um what you want me to do it yeah is that good or no yeah what would you do without me you like hit my back. How'd that feel? I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's not what you said last night. What? <laughs> I don't know why I just made that voice. <laughs> I'm coming, Cam. I think we're finally ready to test it out. Gotta turn on the water. Moment of truth. We get to brush our teeth in here tonight. That's crazy. Running water in our home after how long now? Three plus years. About damn time. While you're doing that, I'm <laughs> Come on, I don't have a lot of time. I'm trying to smile. God, you're such a smizer. You smile with your eyes. Hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, just don't even look at me. Hey. <laughs> Why well, can't I get that? Hey. Hey. Oh my god, how many times are you gonna do this? <laughs> I'm not happy with any of my takes. It's just fun. Hey. Am I supposed to respond? <laughs> say hey. <laughs> what do you say when someone says hey to you? Say hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. 